preview of the Hungarian Grand Prix. Sorry if you missed us for the Austrian Grand Prix. What a doozy that turned into be. But uh, let's go over here. Forgot to change this again. Uh, but the Austrian Grand Prix, uh, Lewis Hamilton wins in his Mercedes, picks up 25 points. Leclerc gets second. Botas gets third. Norris gets fourth. Ricardo gets fifth. Sainz gets sixth. Alonso gets seventh. Stroll gets eighth. Akon ninth. And Sonoda tenth. Uh, obviously, a huge Grand Prix. Huge ramifications right from the beginning. First lap, course corner. Everyone knows if you're a fan of Grand Prix of Formula One, you saw what happened. Um, Lewis Hamilton taking out Verstappen's back right tire and sending him flying into the tires. Uh, Hamilton comes away relatively unscathed, other than a 10 second penalty, which he was obviously able to overcome and uh, beat Leclerc, who uh, obviously got scared for his life and ran off the track. Uh, still got second place, so I don't want to talk a whole lot about the race. You can have your own opinion on that, um, but uh, obviously it has uh, big implications for uh, how the rest of the season is going to go. Is tomorrow is him, is uh, Verstappen going to strike back? He's going to be right behind him, as we'll see here in a second. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but it was the first race with sc sprint qualifying. Uh, quite interesting. Um, Got a couple points for winning that, Verstappen did. Um, and then Hamilton Botas uh, both picked up some points for that. So it, it was interesting to see. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I do enjoy the traditional qualifying, even though they kept that. Um, be interesting to see it a couple more times, see see how it fits in. Uh, definitely nice to see something interesting. Uh, but in the race, um, Leclerc, other than the crash, uh, Leclerc was out. Looked like he was outpacing Botas. He, you know, took the lead after the crash initially, and you know he was in the lead for a lot of the race. And, um, you know, if the race ended a couple laps sooner, he would have won that race. Hamilton didn't pass him until two laps left. So, um, Leclerc, great race. Botas couldn't keep up with the Ferrari. It was it was quite weird. Uh, interesting strategy. Obviously, you don't see Perez here on the list. He was close to. Uh, he was in tenth. Um, maybe could have gotten a ninth, but you know. Uh, but Red Bull made the decision to slap new tires on Perez, send him out, and get the fastest lap from Hamilton. Uh, save themselves a point, as we'll see here in a couple. Um, in a minute here, a big, uh, big strategy. Let's see if it uh, paid off. Uh, Right now, drivers' championships, even without finishing the race, Max Verstappen retains the lead. Uh, he's uh, picked up a few points from the sprint qualifying and uh, has now has 185. Hamilton's in second with 177. Norris uh, up to third with 113. Botas up to fourth with 108. Perez down to fifth with 104. Leclerc. To, uh, is in sixth with 80, Sainz in seventh with 68, Ricardo's in eighth with 50, Gasly's in ninth with 39, uh, Vettel's in tenth with 30, Alonso's in eleventh with 26, Stroll is in twelfth with 18, Akans in thirteenth with 14 points, Sonoda's in fourteenth with 10 points, Raikkonen's in fifteenth with one point, and Giovinazzi's in sixteenth with one point. Russell, Schumacher, Mazepin, and Latifi all remain interchangeable with zero points. On the Constructors Championships here, we have Red Bull in the, uh, maintains the lead with 289. Mercedes in second with 285. Uh, McLaren's in third with 163. Ferrari's in fourth with 148. Alpha Tori is in fifth with 49. Aston Martin is in sixth with 48. Alpine's in seventh with 40. And Alfa Romeo's in eighth with two. Haas and Williams interchangeable with zero points on the season. Now, as I said before, uh, interesting move from Red Bull by having Perez go out. Uh, they don't pick up a point for the fastest lap, but they do prevent Mercedes from getting an extra point. They prevent Lewis Hamilton from getting an extra point. So instead of being, uh, instead of being, um, sorry, two points, or sorry, three points up from uh, up from Mercedes. They are 
up uh, four points for Mercedes, so that does help. And also picking up some points in the sprint qualifying also helps keep them up. So uh, I feel like that was a good strategy by Red Bull to keep uh, Mercedes from getting the fastest lap, even though it cost them points in the constructors. constructions. Um, it, it definitely it was a team move. Um, Perez, good on him for uh, following that order. Uh, Hungarian Grand Prix tomorrow. Lewis Hamilton is uh, going to start P1. Uh, Botas P2. Hamilton P3. Or sorry, not Hamilton. Verstappen P3. Perez P4. Gasly P5. Norris P6. Leclerc P7. Akan P8. Alonso P9. And Vettel P10. Uh, a little surprising here. Uh, during qualifying Q1, uh, Russell not out of Q1. He's usually Mr. Shattered. Uh, usually gets out of Q1, Q2. He's been doing really good at uh, qualifying this year. Didn't get out of Q3 uh, for seems like the first time in a while. Um, but still, uh, seems like a, a few people had issues on the course. Uh, speaking of which, we have uh, signs on his wreck at the end of the Q1. Um, Hopefully everything turned out all right. He seemed okay. Uh, tire the uh, lost his front wing, and we'll see if that carries any of that carries over to any of the racers on race day. Be interesting to see what happens. Um, so be interesting to see. We have Mercedes one two and Red Bull three four. Right line up right behind them. Do they have Botas block both of them? What are they gonna do? It'd be great. Uh, I think lights out is gonna be amazing. Uh, Gasly P5, good for him. Um, he had a not a great race. Uh, he's he's been having some issues it seems like lately, but he uh, hopefully we have he does uh, great this race, especially since I have him uh, as my star star racer for uh, fantasy F1 um, and the um, Leclerc in the Ferrari, uh, seventh Ferrari, seemed to be having a little bit of issues out there during uh, practice, but um, not during practice, but uh, Ferrari uh, continues to, to go well. Uh, they're doing well in the championship, and let's see if they can keep that up, uh, keep McLaren having to uh, push as well. Uh, you have uh, Ricardo, he's in 11th, so he's right in there too, so... Uh, Ferrari, McLaren, let's see. It's a great battle that they have there. And then AlphaTauri, Aston Martin, Alpine, all in the 40s right now. So great battles going on here for um, you know first, second, third, and then everyone else. And then uh, here we have the Hungarian Grand Prix. Only one DRS zone. Um, you know, we have a DRS zone right at the end or beginning of the track, however you want to look at it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. There's uh, Leclerc posted about uh, concerns about passing. I think he he'll be all right. Um, you just got to find a way to get around Norris. And then we are getting into the summer break, so no Formula One here for four weeks. No next race is gonna be August uh, 29th at Belgium, and uh, Belgium uh, great great track. This is one of my favorite tracks to ri race uh, when I'm Playing games, it's a lot of fun, a lot of turns, and um, can't wait to watch it, see what happens. But it'll be great to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, my picks for the race are going to be, um, I think Verstappen's going to come back, and I, I think he's going to win the race. Uh, Hamilton, I'm going to have second, and I'm going to have Norris in third. Uh, Botas, Mercedes is going to find a way to mess it up for him. I know there's a lot of talk about Botas being replaced uh, next season, but uh, contracts being signed uh, during the summer break. We're going to talk. We I'm talking with Evan to do a video in the meantime during the break, but we'll see how that happens. But maybe we'll talk about um, any contract changes that happen, anything that happens during that time. Um, we're talking about talking about some engines in the 2022 season. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.